Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks, uh, everybody on the organizing committee for uh, this great forum, and thanks for inviting me. And uh, tough act to follow. Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations on the blog, which I said. Uh, it's, it's a great, great story. And I'm sending out is that uh, those of us who've been in the story industry have been uh, Bingies. Uh, I think is one of the pioneers there since his New York Times days and then archivist and uh, this. So, uh, real pleasure to meet you and uh, we're fans. So, thanks. So, I'll, uh, I'll be talking about endpoint private cloud software. So, the theme of today is is cloud going to change everything? And in that way, uh, I recently heard a joke that. Uh, there's two guys talking, and one of them says, uh, what's the matter, bro? You, you look really down, down and out. What's going on? He said, you know, my daughter smokes, my son's in jail, my wife and girlfriend both left me. Do you have any advice for me? First guess says, the cloud? <laughs> so, you <laughs> change everything, so you will hear that. So, so with that, uh, so Andres did, uh, did a really good job explaining the cloud as this is, uh, in that way, there are three layers, you know, there's the infrastructure layer, the platform layer where you, which is where Microsoft is your, and all that comes the application layer, where Salesforce and everything. From, from, uh, finally known as IaaS, PaaS, SaaS, basically anything with an S is going to be cloud. <laughs> so, uh, so in terms of uh, what we do, we are actually an interesting uh, mix of cloud computing and mobility. So we are at that intersection of uh, what would, one would say two hot markets. And indeed, there's a lot of interest in there. And we actually are both a consumer of cloud and a supplier of cloud resources. So we consume platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, uh, both no brand and in Microsoft Azure. And we deliver software as a service uh, to our cloud based gateway. So, one of the uh, themes today, I think uh, later on, is that how does it help setting up a startup? Because you have these layers available to you today, the amount of capital you need to start the company goes dramatically down. So, that's it. So quick introduction about uh, Copian, who uh, founded in September 2008, I think just 10 days before Lehman Brothers crashed. And a uh, uh, very interesting time. Uh, this is a uh, great place. A lot of entrepreneurs uh, have come out of this. If you ever want to start a company, the downturn is the perfect time to start. You need a lot of guys. If you get right through that, it's a great time to start a company. So that's what I would say. We went to back, getting recognition uh, from Alice, recently nominated for part of the year. And we're solution focusing on managing data on all of mobile endpoints. Just some uh, uh, 200 customers using the product were focused on mid to large size companies and some uh, bigger names of them. So what do we do? So there was mention of iCloud uh, and you could put Dropbox in the same way and Google Drive and all of those things are happening. So what's happening in uh, enterprises today is that there's a lot of mobile devices coming in. 60 million tablets will be sold this year. By the way, how many people here own uh, an iPad? Okay. Of the ones that don't own it, how many don't plan to get one? Okay. You're courageous. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man by yourself. You know, at a trade show I say, we're giving one away, so the people who don't not get one can get one. But that it's supposed to show, like in this room, this early, almost all of you either have one or want one. And it is happening everywhere. <coughs> I, by the way, I'd ask iPad, are you the The other uh, thing that's happening is BYOD. Uh, anybody here doesn't know, or does anybody know what BYOD is? Bring your own device, and you know, like bring your own beer. And, uh, and this is, uh, the major thing that's happening is that almost all of these devices are personal. So those of you hoping that your company is going to buy an iPad for you, forget that. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> buying that uh, for you. You're, everybody's buying their own and you're bringing it in. And 
that's where you know, the buzz about consumerization of IT is going on. And it's interesting that IT is okay with consumerization IT for the device, but they're really worried about the consumer cloud, like the iCloud and the Dropbox. And that's where there's a problem because how do you keep those things in sync? The picture on the screen, I was like, great, thanks for sending it up. And then how do you make sure all those things are in sync? And still, from an enterprise perspective, because your data is what your, uh, what your company's data is. And, That's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> early no need to back it. <laughs> All the class. So quickly, what the challenge in the round BYOD is that uh, because it's a non-twisted device, companies are really worried about putting that on the corporate network. We're talking to a lot of customers, and almost all of them are saying, we're not going to put it on VPN. And the challenge is, well, how do you make sure all the productivity apps everything can, you can actually provide access to it. And the uh, customers don't actually go, your users don't go to the consumer cloud. How do you authentication? How do you prevent data leakage? And the old collaboration. So the problem is this. The network share, the much generated unit of collaboration, was invented in 1984. There are a lot of workers coming in today who weren't even born at that time. It's hardly out of date. And there's more power today on your iPad storage uh, than the network drive that your company gives you. So, not surprising that almost all of your users are going to Dropbox. How many people here use Dropbox? Right. How many of you put corporate data on Dropbox? All right. We can turn on the video tape and maybe what happens to Dropbox. Um, but that's the problem, that there is a real need, that's the only way to synchronize these things, and the solutions, the enterprises have no answer for that today. And that's where uh, Copian comes into play, and that's our solution. So this is your data. When you are a corporate employee, your data lives in multiple places. This is non-email document data. You've got your laptop, you've got your network drive, you've got SharePoint, and maybe some other document messages. What you need is the services on top. You want to make sure your data is backed up. If we heard, is it backed up? Right? First thing that comes into the is it safe? Then can you access it anywhere? Like, I'm here today, I've, uh, I've got Wi Fi access, but maybe I don't. Can I access all my data stuff? Can I share it? Can I sync it? And then, from an IT perspective, can they wipe corporate data? Because it's your device, can they wipe just the corporate data part of it without doing your pictures? So that's where Copian solution comes into play. It's a solution that runs within the corporate data center. It's a private cloud that runs within the data center. And that's the key difference, that cloud is not just out there in the sky. It's you can create your own cloud in your own data center. So this is how uh, the picture looks. We have a cloud-based gateway which is delivered as a service on Microsoft Azure platform. And all your data sources, you can publish on a user-by-user -user basis to these mobile devices. And the beauty of it is you never have to poke any holes in your firewall in any direction. So it's fully secure. And the device is not on VPN. It's never on the corporate network. So, because other than Angry Birds on your tablets, you may have some other malware, something else, like 400,000 apps uh, on the App Store, those apps cannot access the corporate network. So it's a secure access to corporate data and just the data that has been published to that device without any firewall they can be heard. The value is you can publish content to your devices, provide the cloud-like feel, the iCloud or the Dropbox-like feel, that your users are looking for, they need to keep these devices in sync. They want to access all the data. You can provide all of those services to them while maintaining full custody of your data. And from a security perspective, it's integrated into corporate security, and you don't have to learn another username and password. <coughs> so, so it's designed for corporations to be able to manage all of your devices. That's it. Thank you.